Liverboards represent the dream holiday for divers. You can jump out of bed, grab a cup of coffee, head out onto the deck, throw on your gear and dive straight in. Liverboards allow you to stay in remote locations without the hassle of constantly travelling from hotel to boat. You can also dive on location, go to sleep, wake back up and you're in an entirely new dive site. Some of the best remote dive sites are only available from Liverboards. It is also a great place to meet other divers and form bonds that will last a lifetime. Here are a few tips on how to choose and plan a liverboard. Itinerary. When choosing a place to scuba dive you're only limited by your imagination. You can plan to dive somewhere you've always wanted to go as dive companies operate liverboards all around the world. There are places that you can dive all year round and a range of itineraries that cater to a range of divers looking for wrecks or reefs. You can expect to dive up to five times a day with night dives so they're a great way to increase your dive count and experience. Certifications. Some liverboards require you to have 36 60 or more dives in your logbook as well as an advanced certification so be sure you're experienced enough for the liverboard you're looking at. Due to visiting remote dive sites the weather can be more temperamental with strong currents and deeper depths so you need to be confident with advanced diving skills like negative entries. Costs. Liverboards are seen as a luxury and considered expensive however after you factor in everything they offer they can be very affordable compared to shore based. Costs vary on where you're going and what operator you're diving with, but look at what's included in the price. Some liverboards include free nitrox, while others may include extras at a hidden charge. Food is usually included, but alcoholic drinks aren't, however that depends on the boat. Food. Liverboards are renowned for their tasty food. Usually there's no menu and instead it's more of a buffet style. Please let them know if you have any dietary or medical requirements. The last thing you want is to eat something you're allergic to in the middle of the sea. The catering crew are very good at customising their menu to your needs, but they need to know in advance if you have any special requirements. Review. Poor liverboards don't tend to last long in the industry. Good liverboards are recommended by other divers and hold good reviews. Make sure they have dedicated crew and dive guides. Dive guides and the crew are an important element to the liverboard trips and are often a deciding factor on whether you enjoy it or not. However, you will most likely not know how the dive crew and guides are until you're on board. Transfer to the airport. Transfers from the airport to the boat are sometimes included in the price. Before leaving, check that there's a reliable taxi or coach service and also be sure to confirm whether you need a visa beforehand. Equipment. When booking a liverboard, check what equipment is included. They normally include lead and cylinders, but liverboards will need to know beforehand what equipment you need to rent. Pack light and bring plenty of swimwear. Prioritise dive gear over clothes as most wear board shorts and t-shirts day to day. Check your dive gear beforehand as you will be a long way away from any dive stores in the ocean and the liverboard might not have any spares. If you haven't used your equipment in a while then it's best to double check them before you leave and bring spares like mast straps just in case. Your cabin. While some divers sleep on one of the upper decks you will always have a cabin with a bed and space to change and shower. Where your cabin is on the boat is important as you can often travel during the night and lower cabins at the stern can get some engine noise whilst you're trying to sleep. Check the layout of the boat and try to get a cabin away from the engine and compressor. Have you ever been diving on a liverboard? Who did you go with and would you recommend it? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe diving. Okay guys, if you like that video, click over here to subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, click over there. Ha ha ha!